just realized there needs to be more competition in brick and mortar stores that sell electronics. Welcome everybody to another Glass Geek daily travel vlog. That's I still need to say it more and more. Glass Geek Daily Travels. So what is going on, people? Um, I'm an impulse buyer. So sometimes I'm driving down the road for quite a ways and not exactly knowing uh, where I'm going to stop throughout the day. Sometimes I just stop at a rest area. Sometimes I find a hiking trail. Sometimes I find a roadside attraction. Sometimes I find electronic stores. Because I'm an impulse buyer, I have to, I have to stop at an electronic store periodically, and today was no different. Something broke on me that I've been using for about a year and a half that I purchased off of Amazon for five dollars and ninety nine cents. Something that has been a necessity out here on the road. That being a little mirror cast, a little dongle very similar to a Google Chromecast, except this emits its own Wi-Fi hotspot that your, your cell phone, tablet, laptop, and everything can connect to and beam from your mobile device to this onto your TV. Well, after about a year and a half, this little under $10 product finally, it, I, I want to took a poop. There, there we go, took a poop in case young ears, ears are listening. So what you would do with this is you would plug that in to a power source. So most TVs have a USB, you just plug it right in. And then you have an, uh, a little antenna that, that, that emits its Wi-Fi signal goodness for your mobile devices. And then you got the little HDMI dongle. So this, this thing did its job. I'm not, I'm not, if you guys go on Amazon and look at any cast, and find it for ten dollars or under. If, if you find it for fifteen dollars, it's definitely a good buy. What do you, again, cat? Again? Here, go. Go play in the garbage. So this needed to be replaced. I wanted to go inside a Best Buy, try and replace it for something that inexpensive. You're not going to find anything that inexpensive at a Best Buy. It, it, it's definitely an Amazon purchase. But what I did find is this product does the same exact thing. $59, though. $59 for this. All it does is mirror your mobile devices or laptop to your TV. And it also sends out its own Wi-Fi signal. So it, it, it looks bigger in the picture. I mean, the TV looks small compared to that. The actual product itself... Uh, let me um, do all the unplugging here because I, I do got it plugged in. It, it's only that big. Pretty tiny. But I figured the radio antennas and stuff in here that uh, absorb the signal uh, or that shoot out the signal are probably a little bit stronger than that little baby dongle. It's just $59 compared to a $10 and under product. But that this was all they had. And uh, right when I was in the parking lot, I wanted to make sure it worked like that. I plugged it into the TV, turned on my cell phone, boom, my cell phone was on the TV. Netflix, here I come. Now, I couldn't go out of the store with just getting something that I actually needed. I needed to also get something I did not need. I, I really didn't need this. But I was curious. So... As you can see, I'm lit here. I have a light here. I'd like to have a light up there coming down on me also. For just the in-truck stuff or in the RV stuff. When I'm outside, I, I really don't need lights. And most of my videos are done outside. But I went ahead and got myself. Would you look at that? Look at that crazy thing. That should be actually pretty amazing to use as I'm getting net neutrality news on my mobile devices over there. Um... Yeah, it comes with like uh, shaders and stuff like that. 
pretty nice light. This one here goes up. Uh, it's for HD SLR cameras, 330 bicolor LEDs, 165 daylight, 165 tungsten, built-in barn doors, powered by Sony NPF series batteries. Hopefully that battery is in the box because I didn't purchase a battery when I was at the store. It has 330 high-powered bicolored LEDs, totally adjustable, 2,400 lux at three feet color temp 56,000 to 32,000 with a one-year warranty so I'm probably going to do an unboxing video on this and uh, connect it to a tripod or maybe connect it to my bigger camera because I, I really don't need it with this but I'm thinking if I hook it to a, a, a monopod or a tripod or something and stick it up over here or start setting up solar or light light arrays within the RV I could probably get some pretty good lighting effects going look at this Will you guys look at this look what I got in the bag I got a cat a cat in the hat a cat in the bag not a cat in the hat a cat in the bag yeah anytime anytime he lays something down she's inside of it anyway guys on with the vlog it's so weird seeing everybody all jacketed up My jacket sits down in Florida. <laughs> yeah, I did not think winter was coming so fast. I have a hoodie. I did bring a hoodie with me, but no jacket. I didn't think it was going to get this cold this fast. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and just in the high 40s. This is crazy. Just a couple days ago in Orlando, it was like 97 degrees at 3 o'clock in the morning difference a change in latitude makes well due to inclement weather I, i'm not kidding guys temperature has dropped at least eight degrees and i'm thinking it might snow today i might see my first snow of the season up here in minnesota god i need to hurry up and get home to florida again anyway since i'm really not going anywhere anytime soon and you've seen all the stuff I picked up at Best Buy. I went ahead and opened this thing up. Would you look at, look at this. So it does have a snap-on battery. This is a light that you can mount with a cold shoe. Just very similar to the little baby Luma Cube I have. It has this little cold shoe mount. I could slide it onto a camera or I'm assuming take this off and mount it on a tripod or something. Oh no, it has a screw on it. So you can just screw it onto a tripod, either a cold shoe mount or screw it onto a tripod. Then you could open this thing up. It has these barn doors on it. And I already put this diffuser, this light diffuser plastic thing in because it was just way too bright playing with it. I'm, this thing is pretty sweet. So let's let's aim it this way. Let's Let's aim it towards me a little bit. So that's like on a very low setting. That's on the lowest setting. It, it gets super duper bright, but let's turn on low. Then I can kind of change the tone to Tuscan or kind of blend it a little bit. So you get that, let's see here, that look or the bright look. I like that look, that, that kind of Tuscany feel. But yeah, whoa, let me turn this off. Not exactly how long the battery lasts. I can't imagine it lasting that long, but it, it is a rechargeable. So it does use a little Sony thing. I'm not, in. like I said, I, I'm just now starting to get into light. Oh, let's figure out how to close this right. The odd thing I've noticed about lights, they're not cheap. These things are expensive. $99 for a light. In the description below, I'll go ahead and, and go on Amazon and see if I can find any cheaper that are similar to this. And you guys can click it if you want to get into any of this stuff. I'm new to it. It's something I just kind of want to play with because I do want to create a studio in my motorhome. And learning how to use lights and stuff like that would be very, very helpful. And, I mean, 
you're walking around at nighttime or shooting video as the sun set and stuff like that and you're out in a field or something like that it wouldn't be bad to have these kind of helping light things a little bit so your camera can pick it up so it's something I'm getting into I don't know if you guys are getting into or thinking about getting into it all heck I don't even know how many of you guys actually have your own YouTube channels that would be something I would like to find out because if you if you have a YouTube channel I'd like to share it you guys subscribe to me I would definitely subscribe to you and see what you're doing and possibly in the future collaborate and stuff like that or if you're thinking about getting a YouTube channel this is stuff you may want I, I, I don't know I know the big time youtubers have this stuff and it, it doesn't always need to cost a lot of money the lights like right now I'm just using the light within the cab of the truck it works just fine but people do say that lighting is important and where you mount the lights up high and how it all works and stuff like that is also important so it's something I'm gonna get into like I said I'll put links for Amazon probably cheaper models in this in case you guys want to get into it also anyway since I am stuck here I'm gonna go ahead and end this make this a very 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 short vlog and a, a very short travel vlog gotta keep remembering to put that word travel in there and until the next time guys please remember to give a thumbs up if you would or a thumbs down what whatever and uh comment and if you feel the need to do so i would appreciate a subscription if you're new to this channel anyway guys until the next time i love you all peace out